Hello there folks, DJ Bergstar here back with another tip. So today I want to talk about your key and scale. And I really want to talk about a tool I found uh, that can help you um, with your key and scale with a sample or a song or your track. Um, and normally up until now, I've only discussed things that come with Ableton Live Suite. Um, no third-party plugins or anything that costs any money. Um, however, for just a few dollars, um, I think this um, tool is well worth it. And if you're a music producer and you do this kind of thing all the time, it can save you a lot of time and give you a lot of confidence on what you're doing. Let me give you an example. Um, I'm going to launch it here. Mixed in Key Live is what it's called. Um, and what you do is, is let's say I'm going to play this vocal part here and I didn't know what key or scale it was in. And I wanted to use this tool to help me out. Um, rather than using some traditional ways, which I'll discuss in just a second. Um, so watch how easy this is. I'm just going to play it and it's just going to tell me. All right. So here we go. I'm going to hit listen. Now, the longer this plays, the more accurate it will be. But, you know, that only took a few seconds, and it says it's in C minor at 124. You can see my project's at 124, so it got that right. Now, I actually know what key this is in, so I'm sort of using this as just an example. So let's make sure that it did it right. Um, if I go here and show in browser where I got this from, um, it says, well... Oh, there it is. It does say. It's a C minor. Right there, C minor. Great. So if I didn't know what that was, um, you know, I'd have to sort of try and figure that out. And how I would do that traditionally would be to play this and launch my Spectrum here and um, see if I can figure it out from the... Uh, hertz and the um, transients of the um, vocal that she's singing and see if I can't pick out you know the main transient to see what um, key that might have been in but that's a tedious process so if I was to do that traditionally I would have played this and you know here that looks like the high transient what does that say G down here what would I gotten that wrong um, maybe over here, a C, but I don't know if that's major or minor or what. So, um, you know, it's difficult trying to pick out what key that was in. Um, so how I would use this continue to write um, in this method um, using this mixed in key would be to, let's see here. So now let's say I wanted to put some uh, chords on this or start writing something to this song, um, starting with this vocal. Well, I know it's in C minor, so maybe I'll come over and just write something in C minor. Let's find something. Uh, let's get a chord progression that's in C minor here. Um, and we'll just take a C minor chord progression and put that here on my wave table. And we'll see if it all matches up here and sounds... Look at that. So right away, I knew what key that was in and able to just start making chords for it and writing a track, uh, you know, immediately without having to go into the spectrum editor and trying to find out. Um, let's try another one. Um, let's listen to whatever this is on this track. Let me mute this one over here for now. And we will listen to the beat and this one. All right, so it's guitar part. Great. Let's see what this has to say. The longer it listens, the more accurate. Sometimes it can take 15 seconds or a little longer if it's a more complicated part. Okay, so that says it's an E major. 
at 124. We know 124 is right because we never switched that up. So um, let's click on this and see what it actually says it is. E major, E major, bam, bam. And again, um, if I wanted to start adding stuff to this or whatever, now that I know what key it's in, um, you know, I could just get myself an E major and throw that on there. Let's see, major progressions. We'll put this one on and let's play it now. This has never been wrong. This is very tight. That's why I like this. Um, it costs, I think, about $48, and it's always accurate. And it can really speed up your workflow and, um, you know, get it so you're not struggling to find out what key some sample is you pulled in from who knows where. Now, this is not a plugin that comes with Ableton Live. Um, you don't put it in your plugins folder and work in that way. It can listen to anything. So if you're on YouTube or you're on, um, you know, Spotify or you're just listening to a sample, it will figure it out. Um, also, you can drag a sample in here too. So if you have something on your desktop or in some folder, you can just drag it in here and it will also figure out what the um, key and scale is. Um, so let's play one of my other songs um, that's not in Ableton Live, and I'll just play one of my songs, you know, for copyright purposes and won't be playing somebody else's music. And I'll hit listen and we'll see what it comes up with. C minor 125 I know that's right I wrote the song so it's accurate and it's really cool to use and it can help you out in a number of ways I'm sure you can think about all the different ways this might be useful for you so that's all I wanted to mention today that um, this mixed in key live tool I think it's around $48 and it's definitely worth the money if you're a music producer can save you all kinds of time so anyway that's my uh, tip of the day i uh, hope to see you guys next time dj bergstar out Thank you.